The hunt is on for the person who drove a stolen SUV into a Moncrief home, killing 66-year-old Sarah Joshua. As Channel 4's Chris Parento reports, police say that driver was actually involved in a separate hit-and-run crash. A scene of devastation left behind after a car plows through a home, killing that woman who was inside just watching TV. A neighbor says she heard the crash and saw the driver trying to get away late last night. She says his face was covered in blood as he ran south on Pierce Street. Family members were distraught this morning as they came to the house trying to see what was left. Some finding out for the first time that Sarah Joshua was killed. Neighbors described the woman as someone who everyone knew. Well, my mom stayed across the street, so I can't forget about it. And especially if you can't forget about a sweet person like that. She was real, real quiet. Um, if you see her, she'll either be out in the yard or her family members will be out in the yard having little cookouts and stuff like that. But she didn't bother anyone. Police say Joshua's 43-year-old nephew was also inside the home at the time. He was not injured. A neighbor says police came back out to the house this morning after family members combing through the rubble found a wallet near where the car stopped. You know, you ran to somebody's house and for you not to stop, that means you don't care about life, period, you know? For you to see what, what happened and see what you did and for you to, you know, to continue to, to leave and continue to just, you know, act like it just didn't happen, I mean, you don't care about nothing. The family pastor told me early this morning he was hopeful that police would be able to get DNA evidence out of that car and match it to somebody, hopefully making an arrest quickly so this family can begin to start healing. Chris Parento, Channel 4, The Local Station.